Say hi. <laughs> You're gonna copy everything I do, huh? Yeah? Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Slightly. What? No markers. You're not getting markers. You can ha you can use the pencil, but I don't trust you with markers. Fine. You can use a marker. Uh huh. What? Um. What, baby? What do you want? Oh, thank you, baby. Let's put it right here for now, okay? What? What's it, what's going on? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, no, I did not magically have a two-year-old in the last few weeks. Um, this is my niece, Aubrey. Aubrey, can you say hi? <laughs> you can see yourself in the monitor, huh? So I figured in today's video I would do kind of a little life update. Um, I haven't sat down and done a video in a little bit, but I figured I would do kind of a life update. One of the reasons why I haven't really been sitting down and doing a lot of videos is because <clears throat> about two weeks ago my family moved in, which includes my mom, my little sister, um, her husband, and my niece Aubrey, which is their daughter. Uh, so I'm really, really weird about um, filming when people are home. Even if it was just my husband home, I would, you know, make him like put on his headphones so he couldn't hear me. Like, I'm just really weird about it. Um, if you were to see my off the rest of my office right now, it's just there's stuff everywhere. But. I just thought I would do kind of like a little life up update. That's what's been going on the last few weeks. Um, I vlogged it a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. I guess that's the biggest thing going on, you know? I mean, it kind of is a big deal when you go from, you know, living with just one other person to living with another four people, one of them being a toddler. And she's already already snuck into my makeup and gotten into it like twice. Um, the first night that they moved in, she um, poured baking soda all over the floor. That about does it for my little life update. Um, that's kind of, what? oh, you wanna show them? What do you got? I gave you a bookmark. Who's on it? <gasps> Who is that? That's a cat in the hat. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do in this video today is kind of a book haul, kind of an overall collective book haul of different books that I've gotten over the last month or so. I've been really into self-help books lately, so I've bought a few of those along with um, a couple other books. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you what I've gotten because I'm obsessed with books. So the first one I got is um, Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham. I am kind of obsessed with John Grisham and I'm working on collecting all of his books, which I have gotten, I think I've read most of them besides the ones that he's done in the last like three years or so. I have bought a lot of them, but I am very behind on my reading. So this is just another one that I knew I didn't have um, in my collection, so I got it. Um, the next book I got is The Marriage You've Always Wanted by Gary Chapman. Um, he's the one that wrote the Love Languages book, which I bought that a while ago, and I haven't finished it yet. Um, I was about halfway through and I lost my um, bookmark, so I do need to kind of figure out where I left off. But yeah, he's the one that wrote um, the Love Languages book, and I really like his writing style. So as soon as I finish this one, I am going to start on this one. The next book I got is... Um, it's called When Breath Becomes Air. But this is one that I don't know, I think I saw it, like a little video about it on Facebook. It's about a neurosurgeon who actually got um, lung cancer that was inoperable. So he had started writing his memoirs. And um, what I was told was that the last chapter, um, he didn't even get to finish it. So the last chapter is what his widow had wrote um, so she could finish it to get it published. I work in a neurosurgery clinic and one of the neurosurgeons um, in my clinic said, had uh, read it and said it was an amazing book. So I'm, and that was even after I had already ordered it and it was on its way from Amazon. So uh, I just, I have high expectations. So I really hope that it's just absolutely amazing. So the next book is called How to Be Happy, not a self-help book, seriously. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I bought this one because of the name. 
I was kind of researching or just googling self-help books and this one came like kind of top rated so I'm really um, interested. So this one doesn't read like normal non-fiction books. Um, there's just a lot of just really short sentences, short paragraphs, poems, there's some drawings. So I'm really interested in this one and like I said I, I was interested, you know, judged a book by its cover and bought it because of the name. So the next book I bought, I'm not gonna lie, uh, once again, I bought it because of the title. I, it was kind of funny. Um, it's called Stop Effing Yourself. It says, A Survivor's Guide to Life's Biggest Screw-Ups. I was Googling them and it just came top rated. So once again, I hope that I don't get disappointed. And then the last book that I bought recently, it's one that I'm actually um, pretty close to, um, over halfway done with. It's called Breathing Room and it says, open your heart by decluttering your home. I was first looking up like feng shui type of books and you know, just books about organization, like you're organizing your home. And so this book is about, um, like decluttering from the inside out, as cheesy as that sounds. Finding all the actual inside personal reasons why your house is so cluttered and working through that way. Look, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for when I first um, was searching for books. I was actually looking on actual more of like an interior design, you know, different ways to like organize your house and declutter and feng shui and stuff like that. And it, this is more of just a way to do all that from the inside out. So that about does it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Aubrey, did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And yep. Oh, she pointed to the computer. So yeah, do it on there. And... Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye, Aubrey.